Michael Bloomberg is giving $1.8 billion to Johns Hopkins University. The donation is believed to be the largest ever given to an academic institution. The money will be used for scholarships and grants for undergrads from lower and mid-income families. I don't know if you guys read the op-ed about this from uh, the mayor, but what he effectively believes is that he wants to create need-blind education at all of the major uh, universities, the top universities in the country, and basically mm -hmm. says if you can do that, you can effectively change the dynamic in this country because when you talk about upward mobility, part of the part of the great struggle is that there's a lot of people who could absolutely and deserve to get into these universities and institutions that don't have the opportunity to get there. And when you think about why perhaps the one percent stay the one percent, it's because they can pay to get their way in. I mean, places like Harvard already have that right. to some extent. The problem is knowing in advance if you're going to get into these places, if you'll get them covered. I mean, it it, and, and he it talks stops about people that. from going He's, and applying to begin with. And and he also created another uh, not for profit a couple of years back that's now basically works as a counselor to kids, especially in the inner city uh, and middle income families, to try to get them to actually apply when they we historically didn't think that they had a chance or, or a shot. Or even if they could get in, that they'd be able to afford it. Exactly. You don't know what the package is until so late in the process right. on so many of these things. And by the way, Johns Hopkins, he's given more money there than I think anybody has ever given any yep. uh, higher mm -hmm. education institution.